Space is vast and mysterious. It holds secrets that we are only beginning to uncover. One of these secrets lies within meteorites. These celestial rocks fall to Earth from space, carrying with them a treasure trove of information. Meteorites offer a glimpse into the formation of our solar system and contain a unique mix of metals. Some are common, while others are incredibly rare on Earth. These metals tell a story of cosmic events that occurred billions of years ago. Meteorites are like time capsules from space, remnants of asteroids, comets or even planets. These objects formed early in our solar system's history. When they collide, fragments break off and hurtle through space. Some of these fragments eventually fall to Earth as meteorites. By studying these meteorites, we can learn about the conditions that existed when our solar system was young. The metals found in meteorites are both familiar and exotic. Iron and nickel are the most abundant, and these elements are also common on Earth. However, even these familiar metals have unique properties in meteorites. They often form alloys with different crystal structures than those found on our planet. These structural differences arise from the unique conditions under which meteorites form. Besides iron and nickel, meteorites contain trace amounts of other metals. Some are rare on Earth, but more abundant in space. These include platinum, iridium and osmium, known as platinum group metals or PGMs, highly valued for their use in electronics, jewellery and other industries. The presence of these rare metals in meteorites tells us about the processes that occurred during the solar system's formation. Some PGMs are thought to have been delivered to Earth by meteorites after our planet had already formed. This late veneer hypothesis suggests that Earth's initial composition was relatively poor in these elements. Other rare metals found in meteorites include ruthenium, rhodium and palladium. These elements, along with platinum, iridium and osmium, make up the six platinum group metals. These metals are often found together in nature because they have similar chemical properties. They are also highly resistant to corrosion and have high melting points, making them valuable for various applications. Meteorites constantly bombard Earth. Fortunately, most of them are small and burn up in the atmosphere, creating the dazzling light shows we call meteors or shooting stars. Larger meteorites, however, can survive the fiery descent and reach the ground. These impacts are less frequent, but can have significant consequences. Scientists estimate that thousands of meteorites weighing over 10 grams fall to Earth each year. However, only a small fraction of these are ever recovered. This is because most meteorites land in the oceans, which cover over 70% of our planet's surface. Others fall in remote areas where they are unlikely to be found. Despite the challenges of finding meteorites, thousands have been collected and studied. These meteorites provide a wealth of information about our solar system's history. They also offer a unique source of rare metals. The frequency of meteorite impacts has varied over time. Early in Earth's history, impacts were much more common. These early impacts played a crucial role in shaping our planet's composition. They delivered water and other essential elements to Earth. They may have even contributed to the origin of life. Stellar treasures. The metals found in meteorites have a unique value. They are extraterrestrial, meaning they originated outside of Earth. This makes them highly sought after by collectors and researchers alike. Meteorite metals are also valuable for their industrial applications. Some of the rare metals found in meteorites are used in electronics, catalysis and other high-tech industries. The economic value of meteorite metals depends on several factors. These include the rarity of the metal, its purity and its size. 
Iron meteorites, while common, can be quite valuable if they are large or have a unique shape. Meteorites containing rare metals like platinum and iridium can be worth thousands of dollars per gram. The value of meteorite metals also extends beyond their monetary worth. They hold scientific value as they provide clues about the formation and evolution of our solar system. By studying the isotopic ratios of elements in meteorites, scientists can learn about the processes that occurred in the early solar nebula. For example, the ratios of different isotopes of oxygen in meteorites can tell us about the temperatures and pressures that existed when these objects formed. The study of meteorite metals also has implications for planetary science. By comparing the compositions of meteorites to the compositions of planets and moons, we can learn about the processes that led to the formation of these celestial bodies. Alien alloys the metals found in meteorites differ from terrestrial metals in several ways. First, meteorite metals often have different isotopic compositions. This means that the ratios of different isotopes of an element are different in meteorites than they are on Earth. These isotopic differences arise from the unique conditions under which meteorites form. Second, meteorite metals often form alloys with different crystal structures than those found on Earth. This is because the cooling rates of meteorites are much slower than the cooling rates of rocks on Earth. The slow cooling allows the atoms in meteorite metals to arrange themselves into more complex and stable crystal structures. Third, meteorite metals often contain higher concentrations of certain trace elements than terrestrial metals. This is because meteorites form in environments that are richer in these elements than the Earth's crust. For example, iron meteorites often contain high concentrations of platinum group metals, which are rare on Earth. Finally, meteorite metals are often exposed to different conditions than terrestrial metals. Meteorites travel through space for millions or even billions of years before they fall to Earth. During this time, they are exposed to cosmic rays, solar wind and micrometeoroid impacts. These exposures can alter the physical and chemical properties of meteorite metals. Celestial Footprints The study of meteorite metals is a fascinating field of research that connects us to the cosmos. These celestial messengers carry within them a record of events that occurred billions of years ago. They provide valuable insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. The unique properties of meteorite metals make them valuable for both scientific and industrial purposes. The discovery of new meteorites continues to expand our understanding of the universe. Each meteorite is a piece of a cosmic puzzle. By piecing together these fragments, we can learn more about the history of our solar system and the processes that led to the formation of planets, moons, and other celestial bodies. The next time you see a shooting star streak across the sky, remember that it might be a fragment of an asteroid or comet that formed billions of years ago. And if you're lucky enough to come across a meteorite, take a moment to appreciate its unique beauty and the secrets it holds. Exploring the Infinite the study of meteorites is an ongoing journey of discovery. As we continue to explore space, we are likely to find more meteorites with unique compositions and properties. These discoveries will further enhance our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. The next time you gaze at the stars, consider the vastness of space and the countless secrets it holds. Meteorites, these cosmic time capsules, offer a glimpse into this vast and mysterious realm. They are a reminder that we are part of something much larger than ourselves. By studying these celestial messengers, we can learn more about our cosmic origins and the processes that shape our universe. Keep looking up, keep exploring, and keep wondering. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be unveiled.